Hi guys, so today we're going to be trying out the Rodeo Rodeal, I still don't know how to pronounce it, Dragon's Blood Lip Mask, which is supposed to hydrate and tone and is a moisture rich plumping biocellulose mask. Now, Dragon's Blood is a plant extract, unfortunately, no dragons, but also thankfully, no dragons harmed in the making of this product. So I picked this up for £6 for one on ASOS. This isn't the kind of plumping mask that's going to like irritate your lips and there's a very good reason for that. I'm going to open it or try and open it. Okay, so, oops. As you can see, these are quite large. Um, if this was the kind of irritating type of lip plumper, you would end up with irritation all around here. Um, unless you had lips that perfectly match the size of the mask, which is quite unlikely. Um, so yeah, that's just one thing I want you to point out. So the first ingredient in this is, as always, water. Um, these are made in Korea and they do have an expiry date down the bottom, which I always like having on individual packets, um, especially when it comes to skincare. So the instructions are to remove the mask from the protective fabric sheets, apply to cleanse lips, um, I gave mine a wee scrub with my toothbrush, leave for 15 minutes, peel away and gently massage any residue into lips. So I am going to put this on and come back in 15 minutes and we'll see how it goes. Now this is folded in half, um, oh, oh hang on, actually trying to find the middle of this is awkward, I wish it wasn't folded in half, right because that's that's a protective sheet. Oh. oh god, there's so much slime on my hands. <laughs> okay, there we go. Got it, got it, got it, got it. I'm trying to get the second protective fabric sheet now, although I'm mildly tempted to just put it with that side up. And There we go. Okay. We've got it. Not for people with shaky hands and short nails. Um, so, time now is 7.52 and, oh this does, it has a mouth hole, I'm quite happy about that. Well that feels weird and looks crazy. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, that felt a little bit gross. Um, for all that it's got a kind of a mouth hole for talking, anytime I tried to talk or move my mouth, it pretty much came loose. So, I do have a bit of residue, like they said. Not on my actual skin though, it seems to absorb much better outside my lip line, which is strange. I actually do think they look a little bit plumper. They definitely feel very nice and soft and smooth, but I will do a proper side-by-side -side comparison so that we can judge from there. Well, what do you guys think? Personally, this feels very nice, um, they do feel a bit plumper. I think £6 for a single use is a bit steep. Um, I think the majority of the time if my lips are, are, are dry and needing moisturised up, it's going to be my lip scrub and my lip balm. But maybe for a special occasion, this would be a nice alternative. So if you've got any questions about this, please leave comments down below. Um, as I said at the beginning, it's not one of the irritating kind of lip treatments, so it's very comfortable. Um, but I will see you guys later. Bye.